Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Ellie from HypnoU. If you'd like a private reading, go to www.hypnoulla.com. I also offer uh, clinical hypnotherapy services to help you with any addictions, any emotional release, uh, weight loss, or stop smoking. Again, www.hypnoulla.com. Now, today I'm doing this video uh, because Jupiter is moving and he will be moving um, and staying for the next 13 months. And people uh, sometimes wonder, you know, Jupiter is the luck, so that means, you know, I'm going to have these windfalls and um, things are just going to be handed to me on a platter. How Jupiter works is that uh, he comes along and he says, well, you've got to open yourself up open yourself up to giving and receiving so if that's to do with uh, finances or um, abundance to do with relationships love uh, family relationships uh, the power struggles between parents and children then this is the time where you need to expand how you see things change how you've always done things and be open to what is being offered to you uh, Jupiter comes along and stays in one planet for 13 months and it takes 12 years to get back into that planet. Uh, and this change is happening on Friday, so there's going to be uh, a benefic feeling on Friday and uh, the luck will start to change. But again, you've got to be able to open yourself up and to accept that change. And sometimes uh, it might start off with a little bit of confusion uh, clearing things out, um, especially when Pluto's involved. And so what that means is that there might be a bit of disturbance, uh, there might be um, tensions rising. We've just had an eclipse in, um, on the 1st of September and again on the 16th of September. And that is about um, tensions, feelings, situations coming to a head and not quite understanding where it's coming from or what to do or what the outcome will be due to the covering up of the eclipse and that's what eclipses do, they cover up more than they reveal. The same uh, tensions or feelings or situations, the deja vu experience that you were having on the September the 1st will be coming back around on September the 16th um, in Virgo. Um, sorry, Virgo and Pisces are clashing. So that will be the same uh, intense emotions again. Um, maybe this is where things uh, get uh, even more heightened before the um, conclusion is revealed. So um, Jupiter says to you, if you can be open to um, making that change, be open to accepting, um, then he will say, hey baby, here you go, uh, here's that luck, and things are about to change for you. And sitting in such a wonderful place in your house is going to give you uh, more opportunities. So, uh, for example, um, you know, difficulties in love and uh, turning down a p potential partner, dismissing or, um, you know, not taking the offer as being genuine or overthinking things. Uh, I know I have uh, in the last week been um, feeling Pluto, um, you know, making me uh, question things in my life um, and to go over old feelings and, uh, you know, overthinking things. So um, in any, you know, relationships, work, you know, money, finances, children, any sibling relationships, any arguments, co-workers, anything like that, um, it has been a tense time where negotiations are uh, being held and um, where we can uh, move forward uh, fearlessly, understanding that Jupiter brings the opportunity. So if you had the opportunity and you've turned it down, um, you know, that, that is where Jupiter will just keep giving you those opportunities, but you've got to be present, you've got to be accepting, you've got to be open to the changes. And sometimes people are so hell-bent on uh, being right or keeping things to status quo that they um, don't like change. Uh, change is scary, change is hard, change is the, the unknown, and that is where things start to become difficult. So what I thought I'd do is I'd start with Aries and uh, see the angel's guidance uh, to the start of this benefic period for you. Things are going to change. Uh, Venus is moving in um, to Libra, so there's going to be uh, a balance on 
um, power struggles uh, with money and with relationships, any relationships, uh, those power struggles will be gone um, and you will find that you uh, get rulings in your favour or that the um, balance is restored. Um, the luck is in your favour um, to be able to amicably sort things out. So for Aries, we started with the Empress card and uh, the Eight of Swords. So this is uh, feeling self-pity, feeling stuck, feeling um, unable to move forward uh, on a um, business or uh, familiar um, uh, notion. Uh, the Empress card is a major arcana card, so this is a major change. So if it's to do with your money, it's about a major operation, a major change, a major shift um, that you're wanting to. And this is about success. It's something that you are you know, giving birth to, you're nurturing, you're gestating, you're putting all your energy, all your love, all your nurturing in. And this is uh, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Cancer, um, as well as the uh, Aries, Taurus, um, Leo. So this could be in combination with a partnership. If this is a marriage card, then you're giving birth, finding out you're pregnant, you're giving birth, and you uh, have fear, uh, you know, that you're trapped. Maybe you feel like you've made a mistake. Um, maybe you feel pinned down. Maybe you're feeling self-pity. Because the eight is uh, swords, which are Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And it's about the thoughts. It's about plan. It's about research. It's about taking action. It is also about being stuck and feeling restrained, feeling restricted, feeling um, blinded. Your hands are bound, your eyes are covered. So you're feeling stuck in a situation where you really have to just wait. You have to wait for the answers. So for you, Aries, I would like to say that this is going to be successful. It is leading on to that path where you will have that ultimate success. You will hit that bank. You'll be very relaxed at the end and you will have something to show for it. You will have that through enlightenment. You've got to have that enlightenment to get there. Um, in the place you are at now, you've got to take that blindfold off. You've got to let Jupiter give you those uh, opportunities and not to feel um, self-pity, self-sabotage, overthink things, um, push people away, um, think you're not good enough, uh, all of those different things. So that is for you, Aries. So let us have a look at Taurus. Taurus, yours just jumped out. You're on a brand new adventure. You really are. And this is to do with travel. Uh, this is to do with, uh, so for some of you, you're uh, relocating or you are uh, setting off on a, um, a trip around the world. Uh, met someone brand new in love um, and this is really exciting. It makes you giddy. It makes you giggle. It makes you feel alive. Um, this is uh, the zero card. This is starting from from word go, this is the Big Bang Theory. This is starting from uh, nothing and now we're here. Uh, and this is, you know, pretty much taking just what you have on you and your enthusiasm and your luck. Uh, this has got Lady Luck with it, so going with Jupiter Taurus. And you're going forward and you're absolutely loving what you see. And you make people on your adventures that will help you. You've got the dog here, so you will have at least one person who will be collaborating with you or helping you move forward. Um, this is also about um, bold moves at work and leaving a legacy behind. This is also spontaneous trips, lucky trips, winning trips, or going on a trip to win something, uh, Taurus. So uh, let us go now into Gemini. Gemini, you have lots of options, and I feel like this is to do with, um, first and foremost, I want to say partnerships. I want to say that you have an opportunity around you, but you feel like you're stuck in one, Gemini. And really, if you opened up your eyes and let Jupiter show you that there is more ways to skin a cat, you know, that you can do the same thing in less time and make more money. This is about looking around you and seeing that you your cups are full, you have more than one way to get there, um, and that you do have options around you. If this is to do with love, this could be a, um, a couple who are... Um, Feeling that multitasking, not enough time with each other, too many things getting in the way, um, feeling drained by everything else and including for some of you each other. For others, this is about an enemy because the seventh house also deals with enemies so that you've got another opportunity or other options uh, to be able to sort this enemy enemy out. Um, this is also dumb luck as well. So we're getting luck, luck, luck. But you have to be open to those opportunities. Like I said before, 
Uh, Jupiter is going to bring it to you, but you have to accept it. So um, that's just the way it's going to go. This is also about diversity. Have you thought of diversifying? Have you thought of um, going down a different route? Maybe um, Jupiter is going to open some doors for you that you thought were closed or never thought to open or never even thought to look down that, um, that hallway. So now we're going to go on to Cancer. Cancer, you have the Aquarian card, the star card, so this is it. Now, the next 13 months is about you. This is about your domestic life. This may be with a, an Aquarius uh, in a love situation. Now, you could be, for some of you, uh, deciding between two people. The Cancer uh, is you, obviously, and you're deciding between a water sign and an Aquarian or that you're deciding which way you're going to go. Now, for others, this is about an opportunity uh, of stardom or a title role uh, that you're deciding between. Now, you will be the face of this. You will be the title of this. You are the focus of this. And this is launching you onto another um, stratosphere. This is taking you. And now, for some of you, this is to do with health. This is to do with group, corporate. This is to do with conferences. This is to do with getting your voice out to the people. Um, this is also to do with health because, of course, Aquarians, they are the water carriers, and in Roman times, the Aquarian brought the news and life water to the people, and this is where people gathered to take that water and to also get the news. So it could be in something to do with that multimedia publishing, online, foreign, expanding uh, the network, expanding that as well. This is also about dumb luck. This is about you being the star of your show. This is about you making yourself a priority, Cancer, and this is about getting through. Um, to the end of the 13 months and looking at yourself and going, wow, I've changed my clarity, my direction, I've got renewed uh, focus on what's important, I'm balancing my hormones, I'm balancing my uh, feelings, I'm emotionally stable and I feel like I've finally got there. This is another major arcana card. So now let's go to Leo. Leo, this card wants to come out, the King of Wands. In reverse though, so to turn this around, this is like, um, Leo, that you are not feeling yourself right now and that is where the opportunity comes in for Jupiter to um, really change things for you. Things are going to change for you and I think this is on a public sphere so you're getting out into socialising more, getting out to groups more, um, being seen more. Uh, and if you're single, this is about meeting a, um, a new uh, person, maybe a fire sign. Um, and um, not knowing where you stand with this person and not knowing where you're going with this person and feeling... Um, Feeling not yourself. This is, uh, for some of you, the Leo is uh, acting on the negative side of being a Leo, and you're feeling um, that things really need to change. That uh, it's stale. It's um, needing a shake up. Now, um, this is also about obsessing about money or your work or your role in the uh, place. It could also be about obsessing in your role in the family as well, Leo. Um, as well. Uh, it could also be worrying about your boss or for some of you uh, obsessing about your boss and maybe there's a crush going on there. Um, there's also about uh, you having a love-hate relationship with your boss. Um, where you respect them and they usually uh, favour you or usually are positive towards you but you're just not feeling, they're backing off or you're just not feeling love and it could just be you, you're feeling, um, because you are feeling negative and stale and stagnant um, or that maybe you feel like things have changed as well. In your health though, I feel like this is um, to do with numb um, and uh, feelings of pain uh, or tingling or nerve pain, something like that. So now we're going to go on to Virgo. Virgo, we have the five of pentacles in reverse, so now you're not feeling quite so isolated and not feeling quite so left out, and you also have that help that you need to support those around you. You're moving into a, uh, a feeling now uh, through the next 13 months where you are able to provide because there's been chaos with your finances, chaos with your money, chaos with your uh, daily tasks and burdens and bills and things that you need to bear. And now that's going to be uh, turned the right way around. Uh, also, the, your finances and your daily life will change. There's something coming to, to it's almost like uh, day and night, black and white. Things are just going to change that way. Um, so now let's go on to uh, Libra. We have the seven, uh, sorry, the eight of pentacles. This is carrying on working hard in your craft and finding opportunities work to push you um, 
further than you thought was possible in, in a short amount of time. It's also about maybe for some of you taking on a teaching role or a more hands-on role uh, to do with your work. Um, when love, this is about you know cementing um, that relationship with your partner. Um, there's a bit of uh, forcing um, the situation, so there could be that um, butting of heads on, on um, fundamental issues or daily issues and reminding them constantly or trying to force the situation. The eighth house is hard work being put into your partner's um, support from others, other people's money, taxes, insurances, claims, payouts, uh, wills, mortgages. You might be finding that you're working really hard on, on paying a mortgage off Libra. Um, buying a house together, working really hard to save to buy a house together. Um, all of those different things, getting those into line. Um, so now we're going to go on to... Um, a Scorpio. Scorpio, you have the uh, Nine of Pentacles, so this is about you uh, expanding, expanding how you thought, expanding how you feel. Uh, there's going to be more travel for you. There's going to be an expansion of uh, how you are seen. So whatever you do for a job, it's going to be um, not like this. It's going to be like that. So uh, expanding on, on, on your services, expanding on your audience, expanding more hours um, and changing in that. There's also something foreign, uh, foreign way of thinking or foreign culture or foreign person coming into your life. And there's news of that coming early on um, in the first uh, six months of this Jupiter um, moving into uh, Scorpio and then it's going to go into um, it's going to go quite quickly after that so I want you to uh, make sure that you're not set in your ways and not stuck in, in, in how you do things so now Sagittarius so choose you've got two cards okay so we've got uh, two major arcana cards we've got the full card which I've got for another sign so do check your sun your moon and your rising this is about fresh starts this is about ground zero this is about um, as a brand new life, a brand new way of seeing things, a brand new journey, a brand new job, a brand new relationship, a brand new lifestyle cycle. This is a father figure, uh, a father, grandfather or boss where you are getting some wise information or being let go or something to do with a male Aries, um, Sagittarius or um, Leo. Uh, so you Sagittarius could be you. Um, it could be about retirement, it could be about, or maybe it's the boss who's sending you on this brand new journey or getting advice from your father to go on this brand new journey, or if your father's passed, then this is a message or a dream, this is being made possible, um, this person's making it possible for this brand new start, this brand new journey, this brand new, um, now if this is to do with love, uh, getting the father's blessing to uh, get married, if this is to do with a loan or inheritance from a, a father figure or paternal uh, male in your life, um, which sets you up on this brand new journey, or even connecting, you know, if there's been any issues in fam family where, um, you know, things might have been uh, hard because this, this man's a, a ruler. He d likes things set. He likes things the way that they are. He um, he could be the expert who, if this is to do with your health, uh, this expert is giving you the brand new chance, the miracle, the lifestyle, the answer that you need uh, to get back to the way that you want to be. Now, if this is about experts in work, if you are looking for a job, you could join an, um, an agency and this is where you get, and that's the turning point, that's where you get that brand new journey. So Sagittarius, let's go and have a look at Capricorn. Capricorn, you've got a brand new adventure. Now, there's been a bit of a pause before it starts, so you might hear about the opportunity or get excited about the opportunity, but you have to wait and do that research before you move forward. Now, this is... Um, Capricorn, this is you, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, either yourself or somebody else doing this for you. Now, the knight is already slightly experienced, but he's already had some sort of failure, rejection, or loss that he's learnt from, that he's putting into uh, before he moves, because this is Mercury retrograde, which ends, um, shadow period ends in the, the 6th of uh, October. Um, so it could be at the end of that that you hear this news or offer 
that takes you either overseas or it's an offer of money or an offer of job, offer of tangible practical help that is coming for you. Now this could involve relocating, moving or shifting. Um, but it's definitely promise, and there is Jupiter on this card, so this is definitely an opportunity. So don't knock it back because of fears of insecurity. The knight sometimes is the knight in shining armor. Sometimes he's the um, the man who um, self pity um, wants to be rescued he or she. Um, the night can be seen in either or light. So it's really up to you which which night you are. Um, this is about researching before you commit, researching before you invest, researching before you, uh, so it's like prepared, um, getting it, things in place like insurances, getting permits, getting documents, getting the, the yes, getting uh, the okay, getting everything sorted before you uh, take that offer. Really look into it before you move forward. Um, and so you might, for some of you, have lost your job and that's where you're in the depth of despair. Like I said at the beginning of the video, some people, uh, they start this period in a, a state of uh, chaos uh, because that's what happens. The universe needs to clear things out before they can bring in the new stuff. So you might be starting this period with a feeling of loss or regret or um, feeling downhearted or stressed out or anxious or overthinking things um, because you're, you're making it out to be worse than it is in your head. It's another way the nights can go. Um, but what Jupiter is saying, well, that had to happen. If you were still working in that position, you wouldn't have been looking for a job. You wouldn't have gone to an agency and you wouldn't have got this plum job, this plum opportunity, which is going to take you overseas. It's going to take you interstate. It's going to take you on your travels where you might meet somebody else. Uh, this is your movement card. This is where you're starting to uh, move forward. Now, in love, this is about a um, Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo who is silently contemplating giving you an offer to a next level advancement. Um, if this is about, uh, you know, married couples, this is about, you know, wanting to take this further or silently contemplating, you know, um, getting closer or wanting to talk about something or getting things or moving even, you know, maybe they want to move. Uh, at home, this is about being an example and standing firm, you know, saying what you mean and sticking by it. So let's go on to Aquarius. Aquarius, what's your card for Jupiter? What is your message? What is Jupiter's message for you? Aquarius, you just have births, you have fresh starts, you just have bloom, you have pride in yourself and the uh, female um, around you. Uh, now this is uh, fire signs, uh, sun, moon, and rising, uh, Aries, Leo, or uh, Sagittarius. Now this is a second chance with an X, so you might have, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure I was talking about this Leo most of last year. <sighs> Aquarius, you are going to be hearing from them again, this is a second chance. Um, to do with children, this is about being proud of your children, this is about getting pregnant, this is about starting that journey. Um, this is a, a this is describing a female in your life, this female is very strong, she's very proud, she's very beautiful, she's very passionate, um, she's very caring. And um, if you think you've blown it with her, you haven't, you've got another chance. Now, if this is um, a female, uh, this male is the same aspects and you do have another chance. Uh, this is about rulings going in your way. So if you're waiting for an answer, the answer is yes. Even if you're downtrodden and think it's not going to happen, Jupiter is saying, hey, baby, you're on your way. Um, this is also about, you know, positive um, respect and uh collaboration uh, with authority figures, uh, you know, parents, your bosses, um, legalities, all those different things as well. Um, this is about, for some of you, you've been working on a project and um, you have started it, then you had a bit of a gap and then you're going on another one or, you know, gotten a bit further and then you're waiting to hear and then the third one is where you finally make your mark, it's where you finally, uh, you know, get that uh, going and where you finally say to yourself, uh, this is it, this is where I need to be, I, I'm finally uh, got that luck, things are creatively, uh, things are growing, uh, blowing and um, getting stronger. This is also about um, being proud of who you are, standing firm, you know, knowing your worth, not settling for second best and really letting that, you're really beautiful this month. Um, very attractive, you're shining, you're glowing, people are respecting you, you're getting um, 
So for the next 13 months, you're going to be the leader. You're going to be the leader of your passions, the leader of your craft. Uh, if you've got any issues with family members, this could be making up with your mother or hearing from your mother and, um, and knowing that you are uh, finally you know, giving that another go. Um, it could be a sister. Um, a family member as well, because Leo, the, the queen of Leo, it's it's almost like um, the pride, the the, the pack. Um, so there's a second chance there as well. So for uh, Pisces, we have the wish card. So this is it for you, Pisces. Uh, you know, the last uh, 13 months have been up and down for you. Things have been very, very difficult. Sometimes it's been very dreamy-like where you feel like you're just drifting and you're not quite sure and you've spent a lot of time in your subconscious world, maybe doing some work on yourself, uh, maybe changing um, the habit of self-sabotage or um, self-neglect, self-talk. Uh, it could also be that you worry, worry too much, worry what. Um, and being um, a nine card, this is about expanding the way you think. This is being emotionally happy. The ninth card is so close to the tenth card of the ultimate, you know, the ultimate place that you can be Pisces and so you are nearly there you you don't give up yet that's what they're saying they're saying don't give up yet the opportunities that are coming uh, starting from Friday for the next 13 months a little bit by little bit you're, you're going to uh, really see that this is going to grow now if this is to do with love this is a yes this is meeting someone who emotionally fulfills you this is the right person this is the person for you um, to do with family matters the wish is coming true everything you wish for is going to be there remember though um, the saying is true be careful what you wish for you might decide oh I don't know if I want that anymore after I've got it you know so uh, wishes are coming true I also think something you've been working on for a while that you've put on the back seat or that you've had to wait um, for it to take off or that you know you've been working on it put it aside working on it put it aside working on it putting it aside this is where things take off and I think in 2018 you're going to be um, it's going to be out there, whatever it is that you're working on or whatever you've been trying to achieve. Uh, it's going to be completed. It's going to be tangible in your hands. So I will finish this lovely uh, Jupiter moving uh, reading. And just know this. Um, the opportunities are here for 13 months and they won't be in the sign for another 12 years. So what were you doing 12 years ago? Think about that. What was the feeling? What was the emotion? What were you doing? You know, wh how were things then? Those feelings might be coming up, a bit of deja vu. Um, and where are you now from there? You know, emotionally speaking, have you um, left that person so far away, you know, you're no longer that person, you're feeling stronger? Or is this the time where you're asked to open up and allow yourself to become, um, to expand on that? The nine is about philosophy, it's about religion, it's about change, it's about travel, it's about culture, it's, a, it's about... Um, networking and expanding on those groups, expanding your waistline too. This is a time to get fat, um, so uh, indulgence, uh, luxury. That's what the ninth house does. So you know, um, be careful you're not indulging too much. This is um, about expanding how you've always thought and just letting things go. Um, three cards. Okay, so we have. Uh, well, this is very typical of Venus and Libra. So Venus and Libra is going to do two things, or three things, really. Uh, first thing, we're going to have uh, couples that have been together uh, for a while that are amicably going to uh, come to an end uh, in a respectful, loving, uh, and beautiful way. Uh, Libra brings uh, balance uh, and end to power struggles. It also comes with rulings in your favor, equal share, equality, um, all of those things. Now, Venus rules your money because she rules Taurus as well as uh, love. So this is for both love and uh, for money, that you will find that things are going to be renewed or brand new. So first off, we've got partners that are going to split amicably and go their separate ways. Then we've got partners that are going to put money into finding that equality. Uh, so if you're in a business sense, you're going to put more money in to get a partner. Uh, you're going to put money in to getting an expert in to you know, make sure everything's uh, running smoothly. Um, for love, this is about uh, couples counselling, you know, um, putting money into spending time together, dating together, you know, combining forces, um, joint properties, joint ventures, joint um, businesses, all those different things. And then lastly, singles. Hallelujah! We have finally got Venus, which is going to bring a benefic time for love relationships, meaning those people um, that are quite karmic to you or that are here to show you how to be a better you 
or to help you uh, realize how wonderful you are. And this is a beautiful, wonderful time. We also have Francesca who says that, you know, your blockages are from insecurities and, and feeling, you know, it could be that, you know, things have not been going well, that things have been getting you down, that you have been blue or creatively blocked or feeling like you've been creatively blocked at work or physically blocked at work, mentally um, blocked at work, feeling isolated, not listened to, feeling taken advantage of, feeling like no one um, appreciates you at work or you're creative. You're creating something and you're feeling that block, that blue, that uh, stall uh, pro process. And this is going to change when we have the full moon. So you're going to start to feel, or it could be coming to a culmination on the full moon where you have to release something, you really do. You've got to release release the negativity, release the overanalyzing, releasing absolutely everything that is blocking you or keeping you down. Now, it could be very simple, like writing it down on a piece of paper, you know, I'm not worthy, you know, I'm not good enough, or releasing emotions from a person, you know, or a job or whatever. Write it down on a piece of paper and then burn it in, uh, you know, something self can you know, so you don't start a fire, uh, a pot or something, and releasing the energy into the universe and say, do you know what, I'm going to let go, I don't want that anymore. So releasing that negativity, that blockage, and then you'll find that things flow, things will move. Now we've got Rochelle, which is about partnerships again, and she says, follow your heart and prosperity is coming. Now this is also Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, uh, which does represent the Venus going into Libra. It also benefit, it's also about benefiting from collaboration or partnering up with another person, which is where prosperity is going to flow. So you might have been thinking about joining a, a, a new team or a new company or getting in some help or even dating. Um, this is about... Um, repairing, uh, collaborating um, in partnerships, contracts, uh, contracts that are lucrative for both parties, win-win situations, but there is a decision around that. Now, for some of you, this is siblings, families that need to make this decision. One of you has to back down. You can't both be right. You can't all three be right, you know, wherever the split is. There's coming together in an amicable way that benefits everybody by having that conversation. So I hope you've enjoyed that reading. And just remember that people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime, and every single person you meet teaches you something about yourself. It is very, very easy um, for people to spiral when they start to analyze or overanalyze or overthink things, and it is something everybody does. But what you've got to do is you've got to send those thoughts away, um, those thoughts, those impulses, those emotions, those reactions, and just say, no, I'm going to let the universe bring me these opportunities, because even when things are not going right, that means that things are being cleared up and removed so that that empty space can be filled by whatever Jupiter is bringing for you. So bad things um, that happen uh, are not uh, always as bad as they seem. There is balance coming. There is love coming. There is luck coming. There is opportunity coming. There is growth expansion coming. There is a boom coming. Venus always comes with a boom and so does Jupiter. So there is a boom coming uh, in money and love and in relationships. So let us all be gentle with our uh, with each other and with ourselves. Let's send out as much love to other people. Uh, when you care about other people, when you share love with other people, you feel that love yourself and it helps you grow, helps you change, helps things move a lot smoother. So much love to you all. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, thank you for helping my channel grow. Much love to you all and I shall see you next week.